submit. <laughs> what does the Bible really say about that? I'll make my own decisions. What a stupid thing to say. Lord, I need you every day. That's a pretty scary word, especially nowadays. The Bible uses it over and over. Not only do we want to make sure that we aren't cherry picking verses, we want to make sure we understand what a word actually means. We have a lot of tools available to us nowadays, even for free. Those tools will help us understand the original Hebrew that was used or in the New Testament, the Koine Greek that was used. Submitting or being subject to isn't always a negative thing. Take for instance, my grand ferret, Bug. You know who he is already. When I put him in a cage, which he's rarely in the cage, I place him there to keep him safe. Here's another thought too. If he's not in submission to me, he can hurt himself. Or he can hurt me. Wah, wah, wah. Now, ferrets will be ferrets. And ferrets bite and ferrets like to wrestle a lot. If I don't put limits on Bug, he could end up hurting himself. <sighs> like the time that he drank my orange juice. Boy, was that a night to remember. If I had put limits on him, he wouldn't have gotten so sick. He really could have hurt himself when he drank the orange juice that day and kind of went into a sort of insulin shock. Submission is not about being held down or held back or put under somebody's thumb. It might be for our own good. If I don't lock Bug in the cage at night, he could really hurt himself. For instance, I found him on the kitchen counter one morning. I just ran to the little girl's room real quick. And when I came back, he was on the counter knocking cups over. Now he could have fallen off the counter. So what did I do? I rearranged things and I kept telling him, no ferrets on counters. And just by hearing that over and over, when I say no ferrets on counters, he doesn't go and sulk and flick his tail at me. Although sometimes he's a little bit on the snooty side with his tail and his tail flicks. Now when I correct him, he doesn't go and pout and say, my Grammy's so oppressive. She hates me and she's so mean to me because we all know that's not true. Submission isn't always a bad thing. Just like the way it goes at work. Is your boss trying to be horrible to you because you're in submission to him? No, it just means that there's an authority ladder that is being followed there. I know submission is kind of a scary word sometimes, but that's because we're using today's meaning. When we yield to God, He's able to correct us gently, like I do with Bug. So, as usual, click that subscribe button if you haven't already. 
And as always, if you hit the notification bell, you won't miss a single post. Thanks again. Blessings to you. We were made to show the love of Christ. We know this is why we're here. This is why he gave us life. So let his love shine through in everything we do. It's all for love. He commanded above all things.